All right, so this video, we're going to dive into evidence, okay? Um, now, this may feel in this lesson that I'm jumping past the point, but if you don't, um, if you want more information about that point sentence, um, I would say go back and look at our topic sentence videos. But let's talk about evidence now. So already we know, Ms. Wilson told you, that it's lowercase because this should be the smallest part of any body paragraph, okay? That's my shorthand for paragraphs. So this should be the smallest part. And the other thing that I want to guide our evidence as we're going through is if it's a direct quote, it should be a partial quote. So you're never quoting the full sentence unless you actually need the full sentence that a writer used. And just because I say quote doesn't mean that in the original text it's actually in quotation marks. It's any exact words exact words that we're taking from another text, okay, from a source, okay? And there's another rule, and that is, I need you to remember, and this is a life rule, that variety is the spice of life. And it's also the spice of writing. Okay, so when we're talking about the types of evidence, that's where we get into that variety idea. So we're going to do another, just like we talked about P for paragraphs, uh, for body paragraphs, I'm going to give you another little acronym here, and that is CHATS. So all of our evidence should have CHATS with our points and our explanations. They're the chatter right? They're chatting back and forth. They're talking, right? So the types of evidence you can use for, to chat are you can have current events. You can use history. You can use anecdotes, which if you don't remember what anecdotes are, those are short personal stories or experiences that you've had. You can use texts. So that could be literature, that could be fiction, nonfiction, it could be a movie, a TV show, could be a song, could be a poem, kind of the, that word text is sort of continual, right? It has a lot to it. And then you can also use either statistics or science. Kind of go lump those into the same category there. So scientific data or statistics. So all of our evidence should be the smallest part of our paragraph, if it's a direct quote using the exact words from a source, then it should be partial, not a full sentence. And then variety is the spice of writing. So we need to remember that all of our evidence should have chats with whatever we are giving in our point and our explanation.